Welcome back. The California Vulcans football team came into week eight of the 2011 football season looking for a rebound win after an upset the previous week against the Rock in Slippery Rock. This week, the Vulcans would find themselves facing off against division rival Mercyhurst College, who had defeated the Vulcans in 2010 to capture the PSAC West berth in the state game. Added fuel to the fire was the festivities involved with the homecoming celebration. Let's take you up to Adamson Stadium for the highlights of this game you caught earlier this week on CUTV. To start things off, it would be Anthony Vendemia, the quarterback, in for the injured Travis Rerick, finding R.J. Miller to make it 7-0 Mercyhurst on top. After another Mercyhurst field goal, it would be Peter Lollick hitting Thomas Mayo 26 yards over the middle for the touchdown. California gets on the board. It's 10-7. Mercyhurst holds that three-point lead. After it's 13-7 at the half, it would be the, no the Fort Jeff Knox scoring the one-yard touchdown scamper over the top to make it 14-13 California. Then it would be punter Stephen Wakefield and the block party. Eat the food as Jawan Bryant runs it back for the touchdown, and California is uh, winning 20-13 after the missed extra point. Allen Jones the second though, had some more to say as he scored a 10-yard touchdown run right up the middle, falling into the end zone to make it 20-20 to a tie. And then Richie Sanders Jr., the tag team, added on one, a one-yard touchdown run of his own to make it 26-20 to after they missed an extra point. Peter Lollick marches down the field as time expires almost. 27.6 remain in the game. Blake Williamson ties it up 26-26. All Cody Nuzo has to do is kick the extra point, and the game's over. But he misses. So we're going to overtime, 26-26. Everyone in the stadium thought he made that field goal, including the team, including Mr. Nuzo himself. Even uh, uh, us up in the broadcast booth were confused. Overtime, Anthony Vendemia drops back, looking for the end zone, and he's picked off. It's Brian Justice with his very first career interception. This will set California up with a chance to win. And on their overtime possession, it would be the mighty bank vault of Fort Jeff Knox scampering into the end zone. The stands erupt, we erupted on television, and the California Vulcans prevail. The final score, California 32, Mercyhurst 26, an overtime thriller. Peter Lollick, 284 yards through the air, two touchdowns. Thomas Mayo, nine catches, 116 yards and a touchdown. Jeff Knox added two touchdowns on the ground, including that game winner. Brian Justice was the D2Football.com National Defensive Player of the Week, as well as the PSAC West Defensive Player of the Week. Mercyhurst loses their fourth straight game. They're free-falling, and that's their third overtime game of the season. Seventh overtime game only in their entire career, so they've had themselves a rough year, to say the least. Following the Vulcans' overtime thriller against the Lakers, California must turn their attention to their greatest rival, the IUP Crimson Hawks, in the third annual Coal Bowl presented by the PA Coal Association. At stake, besides a crucial PSAC West victory, is the Lippincott Brothers Coal Miners Pale Trophy which will be presented by the Lippincott Brothers. The game will be broadcast live on our sister station, Power 92, as well as right here on CUTV via tape delay. You can catch that on Monday at 6 o'clock and Tuesday at 4. Since the inauguration of the Coal Bowl in 2009, the Vulcans have owned and defended the trophy, standing at 2-0 when the Coal Pail is on the line.